Hello and welcome back to Road to Glory, Birmingham City, FM23, Mobile Save, Episode 4. Okay, so as you can see on the screen at the moment, Argentina, well, have beaten England 5-0 in the World Cup Final, which is really, really disappointing for England, really, really disappointing for us. At least we reached the World Cup Final, but one that we will want to forget um, very, very soon. Now, let's have a little look at our transfers. Okay, so there's a few departures to tell you about. As you can see on the screen now, Tommy Fogarty has joined Coventry City for an undisclosed fee. Uh, he was a youngster, wasn't really getting much for game time in our squad. A player that we looked to offload as soon as that deal came through, as soon as the offer came in, we sort of accepted it. Same with Aidan George, who joins Livingston for an undisclosed fee, and Tate Campbell, who will join Kilmarnock for an undisclosed fee. Again, looking at it, deals where the squad players who aren't good enough, uh, particularly if we want to kick on, have left the club, um, and of course we wish them all the best. Now, another deal that I told you about in the last episode was Maxime Lopez. He will be joining us in January from Swassuolo. That deal has gone through. Max Martin is a player that one of my scouts had scouted. He is a youngster from Solihull. Uh, got lots and lots of promise, the young lad. He's 17 years old. We have signed him for Around about £200,000, of course, he comes in, as I mentioned, from Solihull. Young central midfielder. Hopefully really, really add to the options and be a good squad player. Uh, and hopefully uh, be one that Birmingham really, really be impressed with going forward. Now, a few episodes ago, you saw that we made an offer for Joel Randall on deadline day that fell through. I can now confirm that that deal has gone through. He will be joining us in January um, he's a good young player, he's a right winger, natural right winger, something that we've needed in our squad and we've identified that we need to strengthen. Again, he joins us for around about £275,000, I believe. No, hang on, no, he didn't, that was, um, no, sorry, he's joined us for £1.2 million. So real, real good addition, I think, you know, a natural right winger in the team can only be a benefit, so I'm really, really delighted to have uh, brought him in. Another deal we've done, um, of course, is Noah Akafor. He's coming from RB Salzburg. Now, he's a winger who can play on the right or the left. Uh, he's 22 years of age, and we paid £30 million for him, but I really feel that he'll strengthen the team. Um, doing really well at the moment for RB Salzburg. Got an average rating of 8, and I feel like he'll be something that really adds to the team. Um, so I'm really, really impressed with that. I think um, the deals that we've done... It have been quite impressive. Obviously, trying to get them done early. Um, I'm that sort of coach that likes to bring them early so I can integrate them in January as opposed to to faff about last minute. Um, so he has joined. They have all joined us or will be joining us in about a week's time, um, to, which will be really, really good to strengthen the team. Uh, um. A few things to tell you about when we go into our coaching team. We have changed our staff a little bit. We did sack Scott Agnew, the bronze badge coach, mainly because he failed his coaching badge, but also I felt there was an opportunity to strengthen our coaches. Uh, as you can see, we have brought in Mark Hughes from Plymouth Argyle. He's 36 years of age. Um... He's a very defensive-minded coach, but he is a, an assistant manager. He comes in to be my new assistant manager. Real experienced coach, and I think it will be a real, real impress to sort of add him to the coaching team uh, and really help us kick on. Of course, Keith Downing was our caretaker assistant manager when we came in. Um, he, he sort of stepped down to the role of coach. But it's, it's, you know, he's 57 years of age, um, but he's still going to be involved in the setup. He's going to be involved as a coach. Like I say, he was sort of a caretaker, caretaker, uh, caretaker sorry, um, assistant manager for us. So he stepped up to be 
the main manager now, uh, main co- one of the main coaches now, which is, you know, taking a step down. But I think for the club, it's probably the best thing to bring in a more experienced assistant in terms of acting as an assistant. And I think you've just strengthened us a little bit, which I think is really, really important and, and something we identified that we need. In terms of the first team squad, as you can see, Castiles has been doing really, really well in goal. Average rating of 7. What a buy he has been. Phil Jones has been doing okay since coming in. Not spectacular, but he's been okay. A player that I have been really impressed by. And actually, I think I may even make an offer to buy him permanently. Let's see what they want. 16 million. Uh, I'll give you 15. Uh, and I'll give you Hall. I'll give actually I'll give you twelve million, and I'll throw in Hall. That is a deal they have confirmed. So hopefully, I mean Planchet has been really impressed impressive for us on the left hand side since I brought him in to play there, and I, I just feel like he is a player who will come in and strengthen. Strengthen us to have him permanently. He's been such a great influence on the side. It'd be fantastic. A player I really want to talk about, who's done really, really well actually, um, in the time off camera, is Ivan Tony. He scored three goals in the last two games. Been really, really impressive. As you can see, his stats are really, really improving as well. He's gone on to be a, a real, real threat, and I think he is a striker. Having invested in him, that it will 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 be a real, real strength for us. Um, it, this season, as you can see, um, let's have a little look at the board confidence rating. As you can see, pretty pretty much exactly the same as the last one. In fact, that is exactly the same as the last one. The board accept now expect us to stay in a safe mid table position. Something that I think we can definitely definitely achieve here. Now, in terms of the league table, okay, so I'll show you the results in a minute, but we currently sit in eighth. We are now just a point off the playoff places. I think really starting to punch away there. Hopefully, really get back into them. Really, really a name of ours. And there's the rest of the league table for you. Coventry, as you can see, really, really struggling, slumping to bottom position. Another thing that I found was interesting is Middlesbrough, have appointed a new manager. They appointed uh, Plymouth boss Stephen Schumacher, which you know, I found quite an interesting appointment from them. As you can see. Let's have a look. Can I go? Oh, I can't go that far back, but we came second in the manager of the month, of course, being tipped by Stephen Schumacher. We, our scouts have sent us the scout report on Manchester United, but you know we know that that's going to be a tough tie. Ivan Tony made the team of the week, so that is really really good. Planchetta, as you just seen, we have made a move for. Let's bring him in. Let's strengthen the team. Let's see what he wants. Finalise the deal. It looks like Planchetta will join us on a permanent deal. Done really, really well for us, really, since coming in. I've been really, really impressed. Uh, let's go get Manchester United. We travel to Old Trafford. Here is the lineup that we will play against Manchester United. Hannibal, of course, can't play. Same as last time, we're going to bring Andini to the bench. Keller, the youngster, again, is going to come in to the side. And Bakuna, just to give us an option on the right. Okay, we've given a relaxed team talk. You know, the lads know that it's going to be tough. Here's the Manchester United lineup that Eric Ten Hag has named to play us today. As you can see, quite a strong team. 
that they have listed here. Of course, Ivan Tony could be a threat. <coughs> could uh, give us a real option here. The referee today is Darren England, so I think we'll want to get try and get something here. I mean, we didn't expect to get anything in West Ham. Can we get something against Manchester United? It's going to be a tough ask. You know, strong side named by Eric Ten Hag. It's through to Ivan Tony, and we've scored. Oh wow! We are leading at Old Trafford. I did say this man is a threat. What a ball forward. Tony gets on the end of it. And he slots it past the goalkeeper. 1-0 to us here at Old Trafford. Ronaldo. Of course, Ronaldo in game hasn't joined Al, Hel Al Nasser. So he's still in Manchester United. Castiles launches forward. It looks like uh, a few options for Manchester United. Friend. Jukovic. Manchester United have it with Ronaldo. Real even game so far, but we have got the goal here at Old Trafford. I think that is the real important thing. We have reached half-time. We are going to be really upbeat. Let's get on our players. Our players are really, really motivated by the team talk. Of course, really, really impressed with the lads so far. Morrison has won more tackles than anybody at the back. I think if we can just create chances here, try and fizzle out their attacks... And hopefully we can go get a result in this Carabao Cup tie. Doing better than we expected. Of course, a lot of the Manchester United players would have just come back from the World Cup. So maybe suffering a little bit from that. But I think for us, the the result now is just just try and, try and get a result. Try and grind out a win. Now, I fully expect Manchester United to create chances here and score goals. But if we can nullify their attack, which we seem to be doing pretty well... As we reach the 70th minute, I'm going to look to make a change here. Morrison on the yellow card is going to come off for Longello. Jones is going to go to the right-hand side of centre-back. Longello will come to full-back. We'll drop Friend in to centre-back. I am going to throw on Keller for Collins, who has had a good game, but I think just try and change something different. The tactics-wise, I'm not going to change it too much at the moment. But I could regret that. Yeah. Okay. This is where our tactics need to change. Of course, it would be that man, Ronaldo. We're still going to... Go, we're going to try and overload him now. Let's... You know... Actually, we're going to stay... We're going to go... Yeah, we're going to stay attacking. We're going to stay attacking. I think if I was looking at overloading them, but I think if we do that, then we could potentially lose this game. And I don't think that's something we want to do. We're going to time waste here at Old Trafford. Let's start putting into committed tackles. We've got nothing to lose. Let's start going a little bit longer because they have struggled when we've done that. Goalkeeper, let's start to go long. Actually, we'll go direct. We won't go long, but that is a little change we are going to do to the tactics. Let's try and get something from this game, of course. May look to bring on Dini here. I am going to bring on Dini. I am going to bring on Dini as a penalty taker. Got to start thinking about that. Of course, we did scrape through in the last round. We are going to switch to three at the back. I mean, that's risky with... But I'd rather throw things at it. Um, I'd rather throw things at it. You know, I'd rather throw things at it than, than not try at all. And I think... You know, that could come to bite us in the backside. But I think, you know, here we've got to start thinking about penalties. We've got to start thinking about throwing our players forward. Francesca with the ball. We've lost it. It's Ronaldo. He's not put it in the net. So it is going to be penalties here. Can I? I can't. 
choose my penalty takers. No, no option to choose the penalty takers. No, no option here for us to choose the penalty takers. So it is at the away end. Ronaldo has scored. That is 1-0. Bellingham steps up. He scores! Sancho. And it's saved by Castiles! Jukovic. Jukovic's score. We're 2-1 up here on penalties at Old Trafford. Ericsson scores. He's buried it in the back of the net. Ivan Tony, so reliable. Bags it. Pressure on Casemiro. He has scored. Here's Dini. Oh, the player we brought on to score a penalty has missed Lindelof. Saved by Castiles. Planchetta. It's saved. Had to score the win there. Varane buries it. Longello. And we have well and truly screwed that up. Troy Dini, who we brought on for the very, very factor of scoring a penalty, has missed. Planchetta, I mean, I think he was unlucky. I think that was probably a good save by the goalkeeper. But Longello blasted over the bar. Uh, well, as you can see, Manchester United celebrating the win here. I mean, it's further than we expected to get in the cup. But I can't help but feel that the way we played in that game, you know, that we probably deserve something from that. I'm absolutely gutted, if I'm honest. But we go here. Dominguez. Let's have a look at Dominguez. Now, he is a defensive midfielder. I'm not going to sign him. I'm not going to delete him from our, our scouting range, but I don't think um, he's going to really strengthen the side. Planchetta will be joining us in January for a permanent deal. I think that's really, really exciting to get over the line um, for us. John Ruddy's contract is expiring. Troy Deeney's contract is expiring. Now, after that penalty miss, I'm half tempted not to give him a new deal. Now, we'll line up in the same way to the team that has just... Lost to Manchester United. Here is the Burnley lineup from manager Vincent Company. Of course, we really want to get a result here. Can we get another result against Burnley? We've already beaten them, beaten them this season. And it is! It's that man, Ivan Tony again. This man just can't stop scoring for us. What an opportunity. He buries it again. It's absolutely fantastic from us. We are really creating here. And as I say that, Burnley have gone to the other end and scored. I think it is a little bit of a danger now we've moved to attacking. We were defensively solid when we played with a balanced approach. The issue was we weren't scoring goals either. Planchetta, Bellingham. Oh, well, that's out of play. That's a poor ball from Bellingham. Here's George Friend. It's a free kick on the edge of the box. Cleverly played by Planchetta, but it is intercepted by Burnley. And Burnley have scored it. This is not the boxing day that we would have hoped for. Two losses in this episode as it has. I'm going to rage at the players. Poor performance so far. Collins has been the best player on the pitch according to the stats. Castiles collects. We really need to start creating chances here. Collins has an effort. Murich easily saved. We're going to make a change. As we have done so many times, our full-backs are going to start becoming win-backs. I think just create chances for us. Start be a little bit more attacking. I think that's really, really important for us to go attacking here. Uh, Leco is going to become a normal winger. As will Planchetta. Let's go a little bit more attacking. Now, Bellingham... It's not either his best of games, so we are going to bring on Chong in that position. Chong 
is going to come on centre mid for the first time for us. I am going to play him as a box to box midfielder. Let's get him on. Let's get him creating chances. Let's hopefully go get something from this game because I think it would be be harsh to lose given the way we've played. But it's it's sort of really fizzling out here. Disappointingly, um, we're not really creating. And it does look like Burnley are going to score. We've lost. And the thing is, when you try and go for the game, sometimes it is going to do this. It's really disappointing given the run of form we've been on um, off camera. But Burnley, no doubt, are one of the best teams in the division. They've started picking up results of late. You know, they have had more possession. And, of course, travelling to Turf Moor was always going to be difficult. But uh, a really, real disappointing way to end the episode. Now, they're saying Jukovic has passed it. I'm going to say he's a valuable member of the team because I really do think he is. Ivan Tony's on fire again, as you can see. On your screen. Now, let's have a little look at our fixtures. So we will probably come back sometime in January. Not too sure yet. Probably for the FA Cup third round tie against Blackburn Rovers. Um, and the next episode will be the transfer special. So I suppose all it takes now is to say thank you very much for watching. Um, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Um, and sort of if you are really enjoying the series, please share it about with your friends. Really, really do appreciate it. The channel is growing, um, and I look forward to episode 5, which will probably be out. I imagine the uh, transfer special, which will be episode 5, will be out either later on tonight or tomorrow. Um, I really hope you're enjoying the series. Thank you very much for watching.